He's nervous. He's excited. He's relieved. He's focused. As a former custodian for Taste Creek High School, he is now one of the school's newest career and technology education teachers. As he prepares for his new career, he knows the challenges ahead, but he also knows that hard work and determination has finally paid off. My name is Lowell Allen, and I'm a proud educator at Taste Creek High School. I'm a two-time high school dropout. I uh, joined the military when I was 23. They insisted that I have an equivalency diploma for high school, so I went and got my GED. I spent 12 years in the military, and after that I went to work for a tire company in western Kentucky. I worked there six years, and they decided to close down and move to Mexico, so I let them send me back to college. I got an associate's degree in industrial maintenance, computer maintenance, and electronics. Got a job in Lexington here, worked a little over a year there, and they downsized. So I went back to college again. I got my uh, bachelor's degree in technology and engineering from uh, Moorhead State. And during that time, I started work at Tate's Creek as a custodian. That was in 2010. And seven years later, well, five years later, I decided to get my teaching certificate. I went through what's called Troops to Teachers, got my certificate, and this year they hired me as a teacher. Twenty years ago, I could you couldn't have told me I was going to have a college degree. Ten years ago, you couldn't have told me I'd have been working with kids. And five years ago, you couldn't have convinced me I'd be a teacher. However, once you start working with the kids, they kind of grow on you. You, you get really attached to someone. And it, it, just to be able to help them and be able to, to teach them and see them grow, it, that's, that's kind of what got me into wanting to be a teacher. I think that with my background, I can teach them that they don't have to, they don't have to be perfect right off the bat. There's more than one way to get to what you want to do. There's more than one route. I took the long way. Some people come out of college, they know exactly what they want to do. You know, move right along. Some people, like for me, I wasn't ready for college when I got done with high school. I couldn't, I'd have failed college. I wouldn't have showed up. You know, I just didn't have it in me. But the older I got, the more disciplined I got. And I think I can teach them that too. You can make mistakes and still come back from it. Still straighten up and do what you need. I'm looking forward to working with the kids. I think it's going to be an interesting year. I think if, if I can reach one that is on the verge of dropping out or giving up, if I can just convince one, to, it'll, it'll be worth it. You know? If you can convince one to do better, you're always going to have the great kids that do everything perfect. You're always going to have the ones that absolutely do nothing. But the ones in the middle that can go either way, if you can push them in the right direction, I think that makes it worthwhile. Being that my wife teaches right across the hall from me, it's going to give me a place to go when I need answers. She's got more experience. She's been here. She knows what she's doing. Uh, I think it'll help me as far as when I do have situations arise that I don't know what to do with, I think she'll be able to give me the right advice, along with the other teachers. They've all been real supportive. To me, it's gonna, it's gonna be on me to prove that the district hasn't wasted their time. It's gonna be on me to, to do my best, and I appreciate everything they've done for me and all the support I've got. The administration here at Tates Creek supported me out through my college, my educational process. Uh, it's, it's just been, I owe him at least my best shot at it. This is the story of Lowell Outlet. This is the story about never giving up. This is a story about dreams coming true. This is a story about staying focused.